I'm Lindsay, and today I am going to show you how I got this. When I was really young, I noticed that my dad would bring cosmetics to my mom. And I would go into her room, and I'd sneak a few products and apply them on my face. And I thought it looked good. I was like, wow, like, I'm, I'm really good. But now that I look back, I did not know how to do makeup. But don't let that stop you. Let that encourage you to keep on going and to never give up. Now let's get started on how I got this look. First, I always like to start with my brows. I like to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in shade Taupe, and I think this is a really good product for your brows. So you're gonna have to start with a little bit. And you're gonna wanna outline your brow following your natural shape. I always prefer to outline it, then fill it in. And as you get towards the start, or the beginning of your brow, you're gonna want to do brush strokes to imitate it as hair. Then you're gonna wanna take a spoolie and really blend out this part of your brow. Then you're going to want to start on your other brow following the same thing. And I always get frustrated when my brows don't come out the same or one's too thick and one's too thin. But just always remember that your brows aren't meant to be twins, they're meant to be different. What I think is important when you do your brows is to always outline your brows with a concealer to make them look clean. And I am using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And you're gonna just wanna get an oval brush or a flat brush to really carve out your brows. And again, you're gonna follow the natural shape of your brow. And for when you're concealing your brows, for the middle part, I like to kind of do brush strokes upwards to make it really look like it's fading into your brow, which makes it look more natural. And then I like to take any beauty blender you have and really blend that out. Now you're gonna wanna do the same to the other brow and carve out its shape. Now that we're done with our brows, we're gonna go ahead and prime our eyelids. I think using an eyelid primer is really important because it really affects the pigment and it makes your application look flawless. Now that you got your eyelid primer, what I like to do is a little trick. I like to use tape on the side of my eyes so then when I do my eyeshadow, it has kind of like a line to really define and make our eyeshadow look look clean. And you're gonna wanna start from your lower lash line up. And just place it there. Now that we got the tape, we're gonna go ahead and use an eyeshadow brush. We're gonna be using the Petite and Pretty 2E brush. And we're gonna go ahead and use a transition color, Sleigh Bells. And when blending any eyeshadow, I recommend blending it in circular motions, then swiping. Now we're gonna dip into Marshmallow. And 
Okay, now we're gonna go in with cocoa and ice and you wanna place that more towards your inner crease right here. So it really helps with the transition color. It really helps it blend together. And for darker colors, I really like to pack it on, then blend out. <laughs> now that we got that set on there, we're gonna go ahead and go with Bungalow Bronze. I feel like this is gonna be a perfect shade for when you apply it on, it's really gonna bring a pop to your eyes while still staying neutral. And for glitter pigments, I always like to pack it on so the pigment is more intense and it really brings out your eyes. Once you have that applied, you're going to want to take a more rounded oval. And this is the Petite and Pretty 1E brush. And you're going to want to dip back into So Marshmallow. And really focus it where the glitter was. Then we're going to go back with Cocoa on Ice and apply it farther away from where you applied So Marshmallow. Once you're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and take off the two pieces of tape we have. Now we're going to focus on our lower lash line and for that we're going to take another 1E Petite and Pretty brush and we're going to go ahead and go in with again Now we're going to take Frosted Fronds and we're going to apply that in our inner corner. We're also going to use Frosted Fronds to highlight our brow bone. Now we are going to clean up our edges with a concealer. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Neutral. Then you're going to want to take a beauty blender and blend that out. Now we're going to move on to the rest of our face. And first I'm going to apply primer. It's always really good to use any type of primer you have for your skin so then the foundation doesn't go directly into your pores. It will lay on this. And we will be using the Tarte Poreless Primer. And you're really going to want to put that primer where you have large pores. Next, we're going to apply foundation. And for foundation, we're going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation.
Then you're going to take your beauty blender and blend that out. Now we're going to conceal and bronze. So for concealer, I'm going to be using the Pro Conceal. And to bronze and contour, I'm going to be using the Pro Conceal in Medium Bisque and in Pore Queen. A really good tip when you are bronzing or contouring is when you want to focus on where your ear starts right here and want to go in that diagonal direction so you really know where your cheekbones are. Then you're going to want to blend it out with a beauty blender. And if your contour ever comes out too harsh, you can always use your concealer to go right under it so it won't look as harsh. So for mascara, I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of Petite and Pretty's new mascara coming out next summer. So I find when I'm applying mascara, when you apply it, you're going to want to move the wand side to side so then your lashes don't clump up. And you're going to want to do the same for your lower lashes, side to side. Now we're going to be setting our brows. And what I'm going to use is another sneak peek of Petite and Pretty's new launch coming out next summer. You're going to want to follow the way your brows, your brow hair grows. You're going to want to strike the spoolie in that motion. This will keep your brows in place so then your hairs won't go everywhere. Now moving on to lipstick, we're going to be using Petite and Pretty's 10K Shine Lip Gloss in shade Gia Pink. And when applying lip gloss, you're going to want to kind of do an X motion near your cupid's bow. And then follow your natural lip shape. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to apply blush. And for blush, we're going to be using the 9021 Glow Palette. And inside, we're going to be using this shade called Pink Palm. We're going to grab the Petite and Pretty 1F brush and apply pink palms in the apple of our cheek. And to make this look more natural, you're going to want to apply blush on our nose. And for highlighter, we're going to be using Petite and Pretty's 2F brush. And we're going to dip into the shade Beamer in their same 9021 Glow Palette. What I like to do for a more intense highlight, I like to grab their Gen Glitter. This is the shade So Pretty, and we're gonna go ahead and apply it the same places we put highlighter. And I like to just rub that in with my finger.
So I think this wraps up the look and I am so excited to be sharing this look with you guys. And I think this is the perfect look for any holiday occasion. I have so many Christmas parties coming up and I think this is what I'm gonna wear. And I'm totally bringing some of my Jen glitter to share with my friends.